almost how we would create a creative industry in Malaysia that can address global needs. Yeah, we need to you know eat this creative industry elephant in bite-sized chunks and tailor our approach to making world-class human capital first and foremost uh, by addressing it in, in in terms of the industry verticals that we're talking about. And I think. If, if therefore we, we are looking at the creative industry as a whole, we have to be careful that we don't treat it as being homogenous, that there is only one set of needs. I think that every producer now needs to understand technology just as much as they have to know um, editorial ethics and, and journalism and, and creative skills. At the end of the day, all producers will need a sustainable business model to carry them forward. They cannot rely purely on government funding. And for that to happen, instead of just putting the onus on producers to be responsible for the growth of the entire creative industries. They have to be um, monitoring the entire value chain. One of the ways that Malaysian producers can actually address large audiences is actually by collaborating with producers from outside of this country in addressing global markets or, or, or even the regional markets. Yeah? Um, immediately when you work with a foreign producer, you're addressing more than one market. And obviously the budgets are going to be larger. Two, you're going to be working with people who bring a different perspective as well as a different skill set to the table. And so you can actually learn from them. One interesting way to work is not to work on a piecemeal basis and one project at a time. Sometimes it's hit and miss. Uh, your partner, investor might not be interested in that project. But if you are developing a few projects at the same time, the chances of finding one that succeeds is better. But at the same time, if you, offer, you are offering all of them as a package, the investment is more likely to, to even out actually and uh, eliminate the risk factor. For the people who are starting out in the business, you know, the younger players and the smaller players, I think they need to be cognizant of the fact that the market is moving towards quality. It's becoming more sophisticated. And it's not because the broadcasters are you know, insisting on better quality. It's because young people are going on the internet and getting whatever content that they want. And it's available to them. So their needs are being met by global content providers. Creative industry in Malaysia needs to be viable in order for it to go into the international agenda. Many people believe that content is king. Um, there is some truth in need because without the content, people will not uh, watch it. People want content to suit their taste. However, um, content needs to be viable as well. You know, people can love the content, but if they are not willing to pay, there's no point. It's not viable. Uh, a lot of producers tend to just think about how do I get the money to get make my next project. It's all about the production money. If you have a strong enough story and you know how to tell that story, both financially and creatively, then you will find the money. Mm -hmm.